Hi everybody, this is the 2021 Sienna Ecstasy all-wheel drive. Today we're going to cover seven things you may not know about the 2021 Sienna. So first things up is the transmission. And so I've got here just a depiction of the eCVT, which is different from the traditional CVT transmission. So first thing is what is the transmission? Its main objective is to turn one rotation of an engine gear into multiple rotations, say two times, of the wheel gear. And how does the eCVT accomplish that? Well, here we've got a, a gear that's linked up to the, um, the internal combustion engine. This one is linked up to the electric motor, and then this one is driven to the wheels. So let's say, for example, that the engine is spinning at one RPM. So this gear would spin clockwise, you see one RPM, clockwise this way. And let's say there is no power to the electric motor right now. And what it will cause is it will cause as this gear spins up, it's going to cause this gear to also rotate this way clockwise. And that will spin at one RPM, thus driving your final wheel at one RPM going counterclockwise. Simple enough. All right, so let's, how to, let's see how we multiply this to two RPMs. So what we're gonna do is again, the engine is gonna spin at one RPM, but in order to put power to the electric, instead of spinning this gear, we're gonna actually spin this entire axis. So let's say we could spin this entire gear around this internal combustion engine gear. And that's exactly how you accomplish it. So again, so the engine spins out one RPM going this way, and then it causes this gear to rotate this way. If, if the electric motor is stationary, it causes the gear here to rotate at one RPM with no electric power. Once electric power is applied, let's say this entire gear moves this way. Ah, it goes up this way, which causes this side to actually move at two RPMs and thus this wheel will move at twice the RPM. This is just a depiction, and it's what's called a planetary gear is what makes this possible, and this is how the planetary gear looks like. So again, we've got the engine here. Let's say this is spinning counterclockwise at one RPM. That causes this intersection here to also approach at one RPM, going the, op uh, going the, the same direction. But let's say we've now applied electric power and we've got the electric power that pushes this entire gear, this axis, going down this way, counter, uh, sorry, clockwise rather. It's going clockwise, which actually makes this intersection here where the final gear touches the outer ring um, move at two RPMs. Now, usually in a planetary gear, there's three of these and it's hooked up in a triangle and the whole thing just rotates as the engine rotates. And that is how the ECVT works in concept. Number two, there are no drive belts that you need to change on this Sienna. There is no drive belt directly into the AC compressor that's electric. There is no drive belt for the, uh, the, the water pump and there is nothing for the oil pump. Everything is electric here. So that will save you on maintenance and less breakdowns hopefully. Number three. Now you guys know that when this car breaks, it is going to use the MG2, which is an electric motor here, to slow down the wheels to recharge the battery. Now what you may not know is what happens when the battery is fully charged and you cannot charge anymore, how does it still break? Now the answer to that is what will happen is because it still relies on their braking action, it will actually spin up another motor to dissipate all that electricity. And you can hear it when you're going downhill on a very long stretch, like say through the mountains, your braking will still rely on the regen braking and, it'll, and when your battery reaches the max, you'll hear a very high speed whining of an ele another electric motor to dissipate that excessive electric energy that you've just generated. It will still try to preserve your brake pads. Number four, you can create this dark display by going to, or this night mode, dark, dark mode display by going to menu and then hitting display. And then here you got day mode to turn that off. And that gives you the dark mode. Number five is your wheel lock for your uh, wheels is right here in the trunk you pop those two clips off right by the battery and voila 
there is your wheel lock for your wheels. That is one in every five lug nuts. And while we're here, number six, this battery size is really difficult to get, at least where I am. So hopefully that does not break down in a while because I suspect it could be expensive, although it is on the smaller size side, but uh, we'll find out, I guess, when we come to that point. Okay, if your hybrid won't start, it is likely your 12 volt battery is out of charge, not your 48 high voltage one. So what you want to do is you actually want to come to the very front of the car and you're going to just open this fuse box right here. There's three tabs, one, two, and three. You just push in those tabs uh, right here. You just push those in and pop off. And then here you're just going to open this up. You're going to attach your positive terminal there and your negative terminal can go uh, basically on the engine block. So that, that one right there could also work. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the seven things that you may not have known about the 2021 Sienna. Thanks again for watching and have a great one. Bye-bye.